So this is where we want to go here. If Curry's not going to use it as an excuse, he said after game two, I'm feeling great. Those were his words. But how much do you think with your two eyes, Stephen A., the lingering effects of that grade two MCL sprain are really still affecting him? Well, I definitely think it's having an effect on him. Steph Curry is somebody I consider to be the greatest shooter that I've ever seen. Don't tell me that he's 100% healthy when he's shooting 15% from three-point range. That's just unheard of. Two for 13, yes. But that's not how Steph Curry shoots. He could do that with his eyes closed. So I don't believe for one second that he's 100%. But nevertheless, that's not an excuse. You have to applaud him for not using it as an excuse. And at the end of the day, he's going to have to provide some help. Houston has isolated him. They've targeted him. They're going after him every chance they get. The only way to offset that is by making sure he's incredibly potent on the offensive side of the floor. He's got to help out Kevin Durant, who's averaging 37 and a half in this series. He's not shooting well from three-point range. Klay Thompson didn't shoot well last game. Draymond Green hasn't shot well in both games. He's only made three shots and hasn't made one single three-pointer. So he's going to have to do something about that. Remember who they're going up against here. The Houston Rockets, all six of their top six players, rather, are each shooting better than 45% from the field. And they're shooting nearly 49% from the field for this series. Steph Curry's going to have to step up and provide some help offensively to sort of offset that onslaught. If he doesn't, the Golden State Warriors are going to be in trouble. How about that? Interesting. We'll wait to see what the supporting cast does with those mm -hmm. numbers. Before I let you go, speaking of the supporting cast, we've talked a lot. We just talked about Curry not coming through. You mentioned Draymond hasn't been able to hit from deep. Clay hasn't had a great series. The bench is struggling. But it's actually taking away attention Stephen A., from the one guy who has been awesome for the Warriors, Kevin Durant, 37 in Game 1, 38 in Game 2. What do you make of what you're seeing from him right now putting this team on his back? Well, he's reminding us that he's a scoring machine. And before his career is over, he may very well go down as the all-time leading scorer surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Can't put anything past him. He's an offensive machine. He can put up 30 in his sleep. He's that lethal. He's averaging 37 and a half points on 55% shooting from the field. I, however, I will point this out. He's not even averaging one assist a game in the first two games. When you talk about comparing him to being one of the top three players in the world compared to somebody like LeBron, that's where the difference comes in. He can put the ball in a hole, but you You've got to use your offensive prowess as a decoy to sort of draw attention to yourself and get others involved to get them open shots. If you do that, it might help others elevate their level of play, and that's what Kevin Durant may have to start doing. Of course, the 37 points is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. He's been nothing short of spectacular on the offensive side of the ball. But you've got to register some assist, get some other guys involved. If you could get other guys open shot, that might be more important than you just drop. 37. That's a great nugget from Stephen A. Smith on the assist because when you've got teammates that talented, you've obviously got to get them involved. We'll see Stephen A. after the game on SportsCenter at night with Van Pelt and the crew with complete reaction to game number three.